and members in several more. If you'd like to know more about PMI in Africa and about your local chapter and Africa specific initiatives, please feel free to get in contact with the team at PMI Africa at PMI.org. The email address for the PMI Africa team will be shared with you via the chat, so please feel free to get in touch at any given time. PMI offers a range of resources to help people and organisations work smarter and improve performance. We empower individuals to turn ideas into reality through our thought leadership initiatives and networks, our certifications, standards and digital products. These are all global best practices to upskill people so that they have the right skills they need to get the job done globally. Essentially, we bring the best practices from all over the world to one place. In view of this, PMI is empowering students, entrepreneurs, professionals, specialists and business leaders, an, order, an audience who we refer to as change makers. Today, PMI is strengthening its focus on change makers and telling the story of all the ways in which careers in project management can help you to make an enormous impact. PMI's communities of change makers will soon be widely identified and recognized as a powerful force for good in the world. PMI believes in the ability of change makers, so we stand ready to empower you by ensuring you have what it takes to make the next big steps to make reality. We deliver value to change makers from as young as the age of five all the way up to 75. Every age group has something to offer. That's why PMI is targeting professionals at every stage of their career journey, and we aren't just targeting your traditional project managers. That in itself is a large market, but we believe that virtually anyone making change will find value in our ecosystem. Now, project manager might not be your job title, but you'll still be asked to manage projects in classroom and workplace. To successfully achieve this, allow kickoff to show you how. Which brings me to today's session. I'm really excited about today's session and I'm pleased to introduce you to our speaker today who goes by the name of Kerry Brooks. Kerry Brooks is a product manager within PMI's glo global operations. Her background is in product development and management as well as strategic marketing. Kerry works with her team to develop career focused digital solutions to solve cu customer pain points throughout their career journeys. Currently, Kerry is focused on enhancing and growing two new early career tools known by name of Career Navigator and Kickoff, which you'll hear all about today. Without further ado, I'll hand over to you, Kerry, to take us through Kickoff. Thank you so much, Joanna. Good afternoon and good evening to you all. I really appreciate your time today. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Kickoff. Um, why we developed it, and then take you into a demo of the product. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn my camera off, and I'm going to share my screen. Joanna, are you able to see my my screen? Yes, I can, okay. Carrie. Very good. Thank you. So thank you again. So as you heard um, Joanna speaking, we are really looking to engage additional change makers throughout the world, change makers who are looking to do, do good, um, looking to make change in the world. And so one of the, the primary reasons we developed kickoff was for this audience and i'm going to get into um, some of the statistics uh, leading into the presentation which could be quite compelling um, for the argument in creating kickoff so as you can see some of these statistics here on the slide are pretty large numbers 48 percent of projects miss their delivery date 43 percent miss their budget targets and 31 percent fail to meet organizational goals altogether 
And with a lot of money on the line, a million dollars, US dollars wasted every 20 seconds, this is a real world problem um, happening in organizations uh, throughout the globe. This information comes from our Pulse of the Profession survey for those of you who um, may be seeing this information for the first time. It's part of PMI's Thought Leadership series and we always um, release a new series each year with important data and specifically um, this series focused on the costly problem around the world in regards to projects. Now, as you can see, um, one of the top challenges is that 22% of project manager practitioners say that inexperienced project managers were a primary cause of deemed project failures. And that's not great news for projects. If you look towards the, the center left column under formal project managers, you'll see that individuals who hold PMI certifications tend to have at least five years of formal project management experience. And for those of them who engage with PMI, they have a lot of access to various resources like podcasts and conferences and online in-person courses as well. And we believe we've um, really uh, prepared these individuals uh, to a high level of competency to manage projects. But when you look at the rest of the world and informal project managers, they typically have less than one year project management experience. And often they don't even know where to go to look for credible resources to support them in their endeavors. They may be looking at blogs, one-off articles, Google, um, trying to determine and wade through all of that information. And as you might imagine, they have a low preparedness to manage projects. And when you look at the total um, size of the market, our formal project managers are the minority and informal project managers are the majority. So this is one of the key reasons why PMI decided to create Kickoff. So a little bit about what Kickoff is for. We use the term informal project managers. You might have heard accidental project managers. Um, I'll tell you as a product manager, of course, um, throughout my career, I've been, been given some great opportunities to lead some projects, but it can be very intimidating and daunting. And so this course, this online learning tool, was really to help individuals like myself, who are not formal project managers, get smarter and understand the foundational knowledge that's needed to run a project and for project success. And in using Kickoff, it allows you to put those learnings um, into practice immediately. So as soon as someone completes one of the courses, they are armed with a, a several tools to get them up and running and at least approach uh, their project in some methodical type of way. Now for our formal project managers that are currently leading projects and leading teams, we found that this tool can also be great for those team members. Many times um, as you're leading different projects, uh, team members and subject matter, subject matter experts come on and off the team. And we found that kickoff can be a great way to get those folks up to speed quickly so that they understand some of the terminology that our formal project managers are using and they understand the concepts at a high level. And it really gives those individuals an opportunity to gain a new skill. So really how kickoff works is that we ask individuals a handful of basic questions right up front. And based on those responses, we provide a learning path in which to go. Then your individuals will either go through an iterative or agile course or a more waterfall course, depending on the type of project that they are currently working on and leading. There are engaging activities throughout kickoff, but it'll give these individuals a, a, an opportunity to get their project started on the right foot and going in the right direction. And the great thing about kickoff as well is that it's accessible 
pretty much anywhere on any type of technology, desktop, tablet, or smartphone. So you've heard me reference the formal project manager or the individual in the middle. Um, we found that teams are really successful when stakeholders are aligned on processes and terminologies. So we see kickoff being used by the teams and the team members uh, who are part of those various projects. The informal project manager is really the genesis of where kickoff came from. Everyone has been asked to lead some type of project in their career and lifetime. Uh, even if it's a personal project, um, we find that this information can be quite helpful in getting started and putting a plan together. And then, of course, for project management leaders and organizational leaders within institutions and business organizations, this is a quick way to get employees all around the organization upskilled very quickly. Um, as you know, training, learning and development can be quite costly sometimes to uh, when you're providing professional development for your staff and because kickoff is free and it's 45 minutes it's very easy to implement within your organization doesn't take up too much time uh, for your employees to get some professional development done so that's a little bit about kickoff and now i'm going to move into the demo I do have a few slides first to give you a flavor of the types of questions that are asked in the beginning and so that you could um, understand how the, how the product itself works. Then um, after those slides, I'm going to go right into the online version of Kickoff. So first of all, if you went to pmi.org slash kickoff, this is the primary landing page that you will see. And it describes a little bit about kickoff. As you scroll down through the bottom, it talks about the target audiences, the different features of kickoff, and ways to find out more information. Kickoff can be accessed through this URL here on the slide. Now, when someone goes, when they, when they click from the main landing page um, to the application, it starts running, which is what the little um, circle is at the top. It's kind of revolving around and it just takes a moment for individuals to get into the application. For those folks um, who have started with kickoff, you'll come to this main page and you'll click on tap to start to start your journey. Now, for those who are brand new to kickoff, what it will do is um, after they register for an account and they will use their PMI.org credentials, their username and password to access kickoff, they'll be guided here to the first um, set of questions uh, to determine their learning path. For those who are returning, um, have engaged with kickoff before, it'll take them right to the page where they initially left off. So just to give you a little understanding of the types of questions we ask, I wanted to show a few screenshots here. So we tell individuals right off the bat that they're gonna be asked a few questions so that we can provide them with which path to go down. So we ask the question if they have an active project that they're actually working on. And I know in my particular case, that answer is yes. And what, what of the following best describes my work? I deal in building software technology products. So I chose software. And in my case, does my project or product have a clear be beginning and end point? Not quite, because I'm continuing to iterate on my product and learn and evolve it through user testing and user research. Is the final deliverable product or service undefined or changing? In my case, yes, because the product is always evolving to be better for our stakeholders. Then it asks for the institution. You can either choose your organization from the dropdown, or if it's not there, you can type it in directly. And then one last question about how individuals have heard about kickoff. Um, in my case, word of mouth. So now we tell individuals that good news, project management is for them. 
Um, but based on my answers, it sounds like that I'm working on a project that would benefit from an iterative approach because my outcomes and um, how the product continues to evolve is ever changing and somewhat ambiguous. So in this case, it is now recommended that I take an iterative approach. When you first enter into the product, you will see um, this screen, which is a lot of the navigation of the course, and there's actually a tutorial page here. We're not gonna go through that because as I go through the demo, that is essentially the tutorial, but for brand new users who don't have the advantage of being able to see this demo and, and video, they can go through a tutorial that will walk them through the product. I am now going to change over to the online version of kickoff. Um, if anyone can't see or it hasn't transitioned, please let me know. So as you saw, um, an individual comes right into the project. So on the left is the primary navigation for the specific course. So we do recommend that individuals who are completely new to managing projects um, start and go through the course at the very beginning, starting from the introduction all the way through and complete the lessons in order. You don't have to do that. Individuals are more than welcome to jump around, but if this is your first time, it really makes sense to go through it in order as the concepts build on one another. So, You'll also see here on this main screen. So you're going to be managing a project. So this talks a little bit about what a project is, the importance of running a project with some type of structure. And as individuals click continue, it now starts navigating through these top tabs. This one, why it's important, highlighted in white. So we tell the individuals why it's important to manage a project and how to do that in a particular way. So in this case, because it's the Agile course, we talk about that because there are some undefined deliverables and you don't have a firm end, we talk about Agile being an iterative project delivery approach used to create something of value. Um, unlike a traditional project management approach where there might be longer planning phases and longer cycles. But the individual can read through this as they go through. At, once they click on the continue button, you'll see that now the middle tab, things to keep in mind, is now highlighted in white. And what we do is we inform the user that there are certain things they're going to want to keep in mind as they initiate this project, whether that be um, different stakeholders to engage throughout the process, what you should be thinking about to get uh, your stakeholders and your team on the same page. So things that they should keep in mind as they're going through this essentially simulation of managing a project, but what they should be thinking about when they're actually going through their own. Once they continue through, you'll see this is now navigated to the last tab here, good questions. And what we do is provide guidance on questions that they should be asking themselves. And especially, and I think we might have all had this experience um, at one time or another, even formal project managers, where you think you have everybody in the room and you ask the questions and everybody goes off along their way to their daily jobs. And then you think of those additional questions and it's really challenging to get everybody back together and on the same page. So this prepares the individual to think about certain questions, important ones to ask. This is by no means comprehensive, but again, for someone who has never run a project before, it gets them thinking about some questions and, and they might have additional ideas as they go through this. So this is the overall introduction. Now the individuals will click into the next lesson. So as you can see over here on the left hand column in this navigation area, we have now entered the first module essentially, getting it up and running. And within this particular module, there are three lessons. Set the vision and get aligned, build your team, set up your team room. 
as individuals progress through each of these lessons, the little stars on the right hand side will fill in. So in my case, because I've gone through kickoff many times, um, my, my stars are actually all filled in yellow, meaning I've completed that specific lesson. For those that haven't been completed, they'll remain white until the individual does complete the lesson. So before I get started on this particular lesson to just give you an idea of how it works, if you go back up here to the top where these tabs are, you'll see again the goal, things to keep in mind, and ways to get it done, and then an activity. This format is going to be the same as the individuals progress through each lesson. So the experience remains the same. It doesn't change uh, too much as the individuals are going through it. So at first they're gonna see the goal. And in this case, the goal is to be on the same page as the stakeholders. So the individuals will go through and read this and they'll continue on to the next screen. So things to keep in mind, where they should begin, those good questions to ask, and they'll know when they'll have it covered when they meet these requirements. And if they can do this, they're off to a great start. As they continue through, ways to get it done. So this, this particular lesson is going to walk them through building a stakeholder vision document so that the team can come to a common agreement on things like the scope and the release plan, who the consumer is, et cetera. And the great thing about this as well is you're gonna need to capture input as the project leader. So here is a template that the individual can download. Now, this isn't the only spot that uh, an individual can, can find the template. There is another area which I'll cover uh, momentarily. So as we continue through, we're actually going into the activity itself. In this case, it's the stakeholder vision document that we're going to build. And first, the individual has to understand what exactly is the project. So when they click on it, they'll find out that in this particular case, the project is that they've recently joined a product development team that's been tasked with creating the software that controls an automated garden box. The box uses weather data to keep the plants inside it happy. And the team nicknamed the product Growbot. So Growbot will monitor and correct the temperature, water, and sun levels in the garden box, and the user can control it with their phone. And by the way, you are now the product owner. So it gives a little background about what the actual product or project is that they're going to manage throughout this exercise. So now we encourage them to move forward. So in this particular case, the stakeholder vision document, it's gonna ask individuals to drag and drop what they believe the project objective is. In this case, we just read through it. It's to create software that allows Growbot's temperature, water, and sun level to be controlled remotely by phone. So you can click on that and drag it down into the box. As you can see, it's green, and you get a little encouraging message saying, you got it, keep going. So that means the individual chose the right response. If they tried to bring down another response, it'll turn red and it'll tell you not quite, try again and give you a little bit more information. Again, we give encouragement throughout the lesson. So this is the high level scope. Now we're gonna determine the high level release plan. So in this case, we have several um, activities that we're going to do, and we're gonna sequence the work as best that we can. So I think we're going to build the product. We are going to test it, launch it. Oh, not so fast. It says try one more time. So as we're testing, we wanna gather the feedback and then launch it. 
And this is part of the iterative approach in managing an agile type project. So again, you can see everything is in green. We've done it right. And it gives you a little more information on why it's right and some encouragement. So now we have our high level scope, our high level release plan, and we're going to continue. Now we need to determine the consumers of Growbot. So I'm looking here, I think gardeners are the, uh, the, the folks that will more than likely use this the most. So we wanna put them in here. And then the team responsible for the Growbot hardware, we wanna make sure they know about what's happening with the software development and make sure that we're integrated. So one thing I'd like to mention here, so after individuals answer these questions, they can go down one of two paths, agile or waterfall. The waterfall lesson is laid out very similarly to this current, um, th this lesson, as far as the features, the format, the content changes, but um, the project in the waterfall course is actually developing the hardware for Growbot. And in this case, in the Agile one, it's developing the software. So even though the courses are different in content, the project comes together quite nicely. So we'll see the scope, the release plan, and the consumers. Gathering feedback from end users is quite critical. So let's see what we might do in this particular case. So as a product manager, I would definitely want to do some moderated user testing. I would definitely like some unmoderated. That's always good to have. And definitely some one-on-one -on -one interviews. So these are the three different methods I'm going to use to gather feedback. And now you can see that we've built our stakeholder vision document. Oh, one more part, sorry about that. We forgot the acceptance criteria, can't do that. So in this case, uh, the product has been tested and verified. The team just needs to fulfill one additional user story and then it'll be ready to go. No, that's not how we operate. We want the product fully functioning, tested and verified. Then it's ready to go to the market. So now I've completed my very first lesson. And as you saw earlier in previous screens, there was the opportunity to download the template. Here is at the end of this particular lesson, another spot to download the template. So it will actually be a template of the stakeholder vision document that we just built and individuals can download, locally, download it locally to their computers and so on and so forth. So, that's really how kickoff works. Um, of course, there are additional lessons. And as individuals continue through, they'll have additional activities and things to think about and questions to ask. So a few more things that I would like to cover uh, about the product. So underneath at the very bottom, if you can see the bottom of my screen, You'll see, like what you see, try our waterfall course. Individuals can click on there and it will take them over to the waterfall course. You'll see that the look and feel and user experience is very similar to the Agile course and operates the same way. You can go back to your other course by clicking the link at the bottom and it will bring you right back to where you left off. Also down here at the bottom, You'll see that in my case, um, for English, for the language, English is selected. Kickoff is actually available in five different languages, English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and simplified Chinese. And an individual can click on the arrow and select their preferred language. Now I'm going to go up to this upper right hand corner. If you can see these three lines, we call that the hamburger menu. And I'm going to click on this. So here are several um, different actions that individuals can take. In this case, um, the tools and templates that I had mentioned earlier 
they can be found within the lessons themselves. But if individuals don't want to have to go through each lesson to find the specific term, they can go right to this spot and find all the respective templates that can be downloaded locally. And they're aligned to their respective um, lesson and module so that individuals can come back here at any time if they misplaced their template or they filled one out by mistake and need another blank version, they can come here at any time. We have a feedback survey so that individuals can keep giving us feedback as, as we continue to evolve kickoff. That inventory of questions to ask, remember, they're great to think about ahead of time before an individual kicks off their project. So they can come here and they can click on these little carrots and expand all the different questions that they should be asking their team themselves or their sponsor under the respective lesson. So that this is an entire repository of all the questions to ask. I'm going to go back here real quick because there's one thing I did forget to show you. This was the very first intro lesson that I just went through on setting the vision and getting aligned. You'll see here that there are the words stakeholders and sponsor are bolded. These are key terms that can be found throughout the entire lesson. And if I click on it, stakeholders down here at the bottom, there's a pop up and it gives a definition of what the stakeholders are. And if I click on sponsor, it does the same thing and provides the definition of sponsor. Now again, these terms, key terms, are throughout all of the lessons. So if you want to go back and refresh your memory on what the term terminology is, again, this hamburger menu, and you can click on the key terms. And here's a list of all the terms throughout the entire course that individuals can click on and again, refresh themselves with the definition. Last but not least, once an individual completes their course, they get to a point where they've reached their goal, they've met the needs of their customer, and the sponsor will work with the sponsor to say, nope, this is good, we wanna ship this product and get it out to our market. So we continue, we talk about wrapping it up. Again, good questions to ask. And then what you'll produce at the end of this entire lesson. And at the very end, now's the opportunity to share your badge. So for anyone who has gone through kickoff, whether you've taken the Agile course or the Waterfall course or both, you now have the opportunity to get your badge, to download it and share it on social media. You can find that at the end of the course, but again, in our hamburger menu, right here, earning badges. So in this case, I haven't gone through the waterfall version of kickoff, so the buttons are grayed out so that I actually can't download and share these. But in the, for the purposes of the Agile badge, since I did complete the course, I can download and share it. Up over towards the left, again in the left-hand column navigation area, it says share your badge, and we have the total running number there of how many badges have been shared. So this just provides you with a little more information about the community you have now become part of. So at this point, that is a high level um, understanding of what kickoff is, how an individual will engage with it, um, the different target audiences that could leverage kickoff for various reasons. So now I am going to stop sharing my screen and I am very happy to take any questions. Okay, thank you, Terry. That was insightful. I do have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask you. Some were shared with us prior to the session. So sure. I'll start off with the first question being, where did the concept of kickoff originate? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you, Joanna. So what, what happened is um, PMI works with a select group of Fortune 500 organizations who have become members of what we call our Global Executive Council. 
And this idea really originated from them. And particularly uh, a, a group of organizations, one in particular, Amazon, where the gentleman who's the representative from Amazon on our Global Executive Council was talking about a challenge that he faced as he onboarded um, new new uh, project professionals, even uh, just new team members, especially because he was focused in the area of product management. And he began, as he moved from job to job, he was originally with Microsoft, then moved to Amazon, and he found that there wasn't a handbook or a playbook available to provide to his staff and his teams to help them go through and think about their approach to whatever project they were now leading. And he literally began with just a list of notes and resources that he began putting in a binder and then eventually transitioned over to, I think, a Word document with various links. And he used that and built upon it um, as he progressed through his career within these organizations. But it was something that he had that he could give to his employees and his teams to come up to speed with processes, um, terminology, et cetera. And so the idea was, can, can we get together, the, a group of us, and work with PMI to develop this app? And that is really the genesis of um, Kickoff. It's really to help those individuals who are completely new to project management, don't know where to start, and get up and running rather quickly. And I know, um, along with the idea from Amazon, we had um, folks from Tech Mahindra who helped us to actually develop the product itself. And we had several other stakeholders as part of that as well. And in our hamburger menu, um, uh, within Kickoff, if you click on that, on that, there's an about section and it has um, a big shout out to all the wonderful organizations that helped us to build that. And the great thing about it is, is that we have additional stakeholders um, who are willing to give us feedback and help us evolve it. So it's really a collaborative opportunity that we've been able to bring something like this to market with the organizations that we work with in PMI. All right, that's insightful. Thanks, Kerry. Um, another question is, is Kickoff accessible to non-PMI members and what's the cost? Yes, it is. P Kickoff is accessible to every and anyone. You do not need to be a PMI member. You do not need to be a PMI certification holder. It is available to everyone and it is free. There is no cost to it. Um, and the, the reason is we really want to provide value. Um, this goes back to our audience of change makers, which are Many or all of you, but those other individuals as well who are leading projects and they don't know necessarily they want to they need a resource to get them started and it's not necessarily something that maybe they can pay for. And as far as our audience, again, as Joanna mentioned in the very beginning, our audience of anyone from the age of five to 75, we want this product to really be relevant to all those individuals. Maybe not quite the five-year-olds, but at least those in um, intermediary school and uh, university on up. Okay, great. Um, another question is, um, kickoff seems quite simplistic. Is that intentional? Yes, it is. Um, we wanted it to be simple. Um, be, we wanted it to be simple and easy for individuals. Um, as many of our formal project managers and our project management leaders all know, um, their project management can become quite complicated depending on the size, the scope, the, uh, the size of the project, the team members, the scope, budget, et cetera, and complexities of systems. And, um, and we don't want to overwhelm individuals who are just trying to figure out how to get a project started. And this isn't to say that they won't go on to additional learning um, either. As a matter of fact, we have a learn more page within Kickoff that recommends some potential next steps of other products and resources that PMI has available. 
but we purposefully kept it simple and almost in layman terms to make sure that it could be understood by general audiences. Okay. Um, I've seen this question repeated a few times. Um, does kickoff align to PMI's PM book guide or the agile practice guide? And if so, how does how will the content of the course evolve with the changes with the PM book and agile guide? Uh, very good. So at a very high level, yes, there is alignment to both um, the agile practice standard as well as the PM book guide. Um, but again, we wanted to keep it um, consistent. We have we have great um, uh, translation groups that we work with who are very committed um, and understand our standards. And we've, we've had to work with them a little bit because we want to make sure it's aligned to our content, of course, and that it does not conflict. And we want to keep our terminology consistent across our standards and guides. But again, because of the audience that we're trying to reach with kickoff, we want to keep it simple and understandable and not dive too deeply into content that may not make sense because they're not formal project managers. Um, another question here is, can, can someone use a kickoff badge to suggest a, a PM role? That's a good question. So um, one thing I will tell you, we are very close to um, uh, integrating the, the kickoff badges with an organization called Credly. And for those of you who may have one of PMI's more formal certifications, like a PMI ACP or PMP, um, the information um, within your badge, which is uh, supported by Credly, who's our third party vendor, um, verifies the information in that badge and will tell an employer if they do um, actually have the knowledge, experience and expertise. Kickoff is not that type of certification and therefore that type of information would be contained within the Credly badge. It will explain within details what um, the badge actually means. So I think it's a great question because a lot of individuals, you know, will look for some of those shortcuts just to get some letters after their name. And we don't wanna, of course, dilute um, the, the rigor behind our actual certifications. So we'll be doing that integration quite soon. Um, the badge itself, um, I, I would say people could have it in their LinkedIn profiles and might mention it on their resume or CV, but um, that information will soon be available so that if an employer actually clicks on the badge, they'll know that this individual has not gone through any of our rigor certifications. Um, we have another question here which asks, how useful is this course for someone in the nonprofit sector or third sector? So great question. We um, have been sharing kickoff with several of our own um, partners, nonprofit organizations that that PMI is working with. And we've anecdotally heard some um, great comments from individuals saying that they found it helpful. It was it, it gave them a way to get a project up and running. So we've heard some good feedback. We're currently working on some reporting. Um, one thing I do want to mention um, is that with some of our partner associations, they have a link that allows us to track the activity within their association or nonprofit. Um, or NGOs so that um, we can gather the data on the usage and uptake of kickoff within those groups. So more to come on that as the, the data and reporting are still in its infancy. But anecdotally, we've gotten positive feedback that it's a great way to, to share this information and provide an opportunity for not-for-profits to skill their employees. Okay. Um, another question is how or is how can kickoff be relevant to construction projects? So I think again, um, kickoff is industry agnostic, 
And I would say uh, there's some more complexities within the construction industry because this is something that somebody is just learning for the first time. Um, perhaps maybe it's an architect or um, some other folks on a construction team. I would say that going through either the courses, um, I would say maybe more waterfall within construction. Um, we'll just give them an understanding of the high level project management terminology, but it's not gonna put them in a place to lead a multi-million or multi-billion construction project. Um, again, this is less for the formal project managers, but folks, uh, individuals you might work with in the field on a project team that could come away with some value in understanding what you as a, as a project leader in construction are doing, I think could help um, arm them with some of that knowledge. That's great. Um, there's a few, couple more questions. Um, sure. One of being... Can Kickoff be integrated with other PM software? If yes, which ones? So I would say the opportunity to do that is there. Um, I We have not integrated Kickoff into any tools specifically. It is something we're actually exploring um, right now. Uh, we've had some organizations that have been interested in it um, to either embed in their intranet or within their own software platforms. And we would have to have some more detailed discussions on those types of requirements. But it is something we could do. We just haven't done it yet. Okay, great. Um, can can we gain PDUs for completing kickoff? Um, essentially, yes. So it is um, a 45 minute course. Both both the Agile and the Waterfall courses are 45 minutes long. Um, I, in um, going into our um, continuing certification requirement system to um, collect and uh, and get your PDUs, you would basically record it um, in quarter hour increments or 0.25. In this case, kickoff would be 0.75 PDUs um, because it's not a full hour course. And you could self-report that um, under um, some several of the categories within um, within the CCRS system. So yes, you can collect PDUs for it. It would only be 0.75 PDU. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there some advice you can give a small organization on how they can integrate Kickoff? I'm, I, so I guess I could answer this two ways. I think is, um, is it more of about spreading the word within the organization? Um, I, I can I can point to that in that we actually have a few flyers that we've created that are targeted towards um, employees within an organization, students within an academic institution, um, as well as organizational decision makers. We do have those flyers um, just to, we have them available. I know we were making some minor changes to them, but we do have those that you can share within your organization. Um, we've had several organizations, um, they've invited me to participate in their community or practice meetings to talk a little bit more about kickoff to help them get the word out. The URL can be shared with any and everyone. So um, we, can, we can help provide messaging around what kickoff is and the value and the benefit for um, individuals within an organization. Um, if you're talking about integrating it from a technical um, perspective, uh, that would require further discussion. Okay. Um, I'll take the last couple of questions. Um, must you have a project or can this be a learning opportunity as an individual to build capacity to develop a, to develop a project in the future. Oh, I think that. Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think it's it can also be used as an opportunity to develop um, 
capacity and knowledge and understanding of something in the future. I think what it could do, um, I, I'm seeing this in, in some cases with students in universities, that it's truly just a learning opportunity for individuals um, within university programs to uh, be more or less prepared and know that they have a resource to come back to at any point to reference certain lessons and certain pieces of information that they may need to reuse moving forward. Um, so I think it, it absolutely can be positioned in that way for future learning. Okay. Mm, this question is, how does kickoff deal with project management motivation? So I think um, for an individual, again, who is, I, I need to understand the context a little bit more, but I would say um, we found a lot of individuals who take the course and they share it. There's pride in what they've accomplished, that they've taken the time to skill up a bit and learn how to start a project and sharing it amongst their social networks um, and even their business networks, such as LinkedIn. We found um, individuals take pride in that and sharing it. And it's a bit of it's a bit more of intrinsic motivation and the, the fact that they now have some type of understanding so that as they continue with their current project or their future project, they know where to start. And it helps to build a little bit more confidence because they have that foundational understanding of what it is they're trying to do. They'll know their end goal and now they have a framework in which to help them get there. Yeah. Now, the last question is, um, PMI has introduced a lot of new products lately. Where does this fit in within PMI portfolio? Excellent question. We have, and there there are more coming out. So, because of our our four our four point vision, right, is to be relevant to individuals from five to seventy five, and to engage with more communities and really provide value and benefit um, to those. Kickoff is really meant to be that introduction into project management and um, you know we have there are a lot of individuals out there that might be in university or early in their career maybe even in high school and they're working on a project and um, by leveraging kickoff as sort of that lead for PMI um, that's really what kickoff is meant to be we, we see it as a way for our PMI chapters to educate new members um, or those that might be interested in joining a chapter, for those that are employed by organizations and may not be in the project management function, there's that opportunity um, there. And um, it's really meant to introduce individuals to project management and eventually PMI. So it sits at the very top of our project management, uh, our, our profession funnel, if you will, so that we can start empowering those change makers to be successful in the projects that they run. And hopefully that they find en enough value and benefit that they come back to PMI more as a resource in knowing that we can support them in their career journeys, whether it be as a formal project manager, a product manager, um, someone who's just a skill seeker and can use project management skills within their own job. So that's the intention of kickoff. And I would say that's where it fits. Um, it's an introductory offering to project management and PMI. Okay, great. Thank you, Carrie, for answering the, those questions. I do see that there are a few more questions that have come through, but for sake of time, what we will do is collate the other questions that we have come through and we will answer your questions via email. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, so that being said, I guess this brings us to the end of today's session. So thank you so much, Kerry, for your knowledge shared with us today and the insights of kickoff. It's been absolutely amazing. 
as Kerry has rightly highlighted and pointed out, we can literally go ahead and get started and kick off right now. Kickoff is available as we speak and it's a free 45 minute course. So please do take the course at your convenience and do share some feedback with us at the soonest. But to keep you engaged, we just hope you guys will stay tuned and look out for our subsequent showcases um, which have been identified on the screen shared with you. So our next session will be next week, Wednesday, on the 19th of May, where we will take you through the journey of wicked problem solving. Thank you all for your time today. Um, we greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to contact us and share any questions you may have. As mentioned at the start of today's call, we will send a, a copy of today's presentation and the recording link. So. If you do have any more questions after the session, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening or your day.